next thing that we have today, I'm telling you, is something that we've seen before. A big tech company investing in a smaller AI company. And Amazon invests $2.75 billion in Anthropic. Recently, we learned about Anthropic recently this year. We saw them on the same um, news channel, Bloomberg, I believe, in an interview. And the owner and her, whatever, they went over what they did. Or we went over somebody who helps out Anthropic or whatever to figure out what it was and learn more about it. This is, I believe we, we did a little bit of learning that episode to look into what they were a little more. But we're going to see how Amazon and why Amazon invested in them to this amount. And then I'm going to give my thoughts throughout this in two different parts, maybe beginning and the middle and the end but don't forget to like comment subscribe and share it helps out the algorithm and we appreciate it but let's dive into this and see what they got to say that the amazon and aws saw in anthropic that that pushed you to commit well thanks ed appreciate you having me here it's great to be here um you know anthropic are a provider of what we call foundation models and they are at the very center of the generative AI revolution. This ability for the first time to be able to reason and integrate across very large amounts of information, to be able to build assistants and chatbots, but also completely reimagine every aspect of the customer experience. Uh, Anthropic have some of the best foundation models available anywhere today. And uh, it was uh, been a delight to get to know that team more closely. And uh, our investment really reflects the way that we're partnering very expansively with Anthropic to bring these remarkable foundation models that Anthropic calls Claude uh, to customers across every single industry and uh, every single use case. It's really been remarkable over the past year to watch so many customers from financial services like ADP and Intuit, manufacturing with Siemens, transportation with Delta Airlines, Pfizer in life sciences, AT in telecom, just every right. industry that you can imagine starting to use these foundation models in order to be able to completely reimagine the experience. Now, Anthropic makes available Claude 3, uh, which is uh, currently the best performing set of foundation models available anywhere. And so we've been able to partner with them to bring those models to customers through AWS, through a service we have called Bedrock. And we're also partnering to allow uh, uh, Anthropic, who have selected AWS as their primary cloud provider for their mission critical training workloads going right. forwards, to optimize their workloads for our own custom silicon uh, that we use for machine learning, which we call uh, Trainium, which is a specific chip designed to accelerate machine learning and artificial intelligence model training, and Inferentia, uh, which is a specific chip designed to accelerate the prediction or the use right. cases Matt, uh, of foundation models. L let, me, let me jump in here. When, when this news broke yesterday, uh, I, I posted on social media, for example, the, the story, and some people replied saying, this looks very much like a quid pro quo, where uh, Amazon or AWS invests in Anthropic but Anthropic is required to use AWS Compute and Trainium and Inferentia. Can you, can you kind of give me some, some numbers behind uh, Anthropic's use of, of both of the, the proprietary chips from AWS? Have they started using this? How is the kind of onboarding of Anthropic operationally into AWS going? Yeah, as I say, the Anthropic have selected AWS. Uh, we're collaborating both on model training, but also the work that we're doing with Anthropic uh, is uh, helpful in how we develop the next generation uh, of these pretty remarkable chips, which provide better efficiency and better cost profiles for training these very large foundation models. Uh, the investment in uh, Anthropic is uh, an equity investment. It's a convertible note. Uh, we don't have a seat on the board. Uh, we have no say in how that money gets spent. And so uh, they can use that uh, investment uh, as they see fit. So really quickly about this. Does this not seem familiar? One thing that I know, especially in life, is that history likes to repeat itself. Last year, what happened? Microsoft donated or invested $1 billion initially with OpenAI. Then later on, they gave a $10 billion investment. That's now now their investment's worth like $13 billion or something total. 
Amazon comes to Anthropic, where they go to each other and they invest $2.75 billion. Anybody else see the same trend going on here? I bet you in a few months time or whatever, depending on how Anthropic scales from this partnership, is no matter how much they say it's not a partnership, it's a partnership because they're working together and stuff. There's going to be another investment coming and it might be equal to what Microsoft did with OpenAI. Now, one of the things I want to say is like normally with these partnerships and stuff, most people don't come out and say whatever they're putting all this money in is not the best. I probably bet you that every company that said whatever they partner with a company, oh, they're the best at this, they're the best at that, things like that. Maybe they truly believe that or maybe they mean they're the best that was available. Because OpenAI's got ties with Microsoft now. Why would Amazon tie themselves with Google when they Anthropics right here? Maybe they're trying to do the same same plan that Microsoft did with OpenAI with Anthropic. And be able to, and they're going to be able to scale at a certain way. So, is this dangerous for OpenAI? Is this making a bigger competitor for OpenAI? How will this partnership affect everybody else? And like, they're already using Amazon's chips and stuff, using their models. They say that oh, Anthropic has the best models. Is that true? Because I don't have the statistics in front of me to come out and say it, but I, I believe that. Come on now, like, is it true? Like, do they have the best models? I, I'm not someone who can just come out and say that out in the open and with that much confidence because we just learned about them. Typically, with our, how are they going to be better than some of these other models that are out there that have way more money invested in them to start with? Maybe they like the way that they work and stuff and that's why they think they're the best. They have the the potential to become the best. Maybe that's more or less what they want to say or unless they're meaning like they were the best out there that's available to invest in so that we can able to work together to provide the best support. They're using this stuff on, uh, they said BlackRock or Black Wealth, whatever Amazon thing is using. Um, I, haven't, I haven't used it personally myself, but they're saying that they already used Amazon. They love Amazon. Amazon likes what's going on for them too. And it's working back and forth. But I'm seeing a lot of similarities to the relationship that OpenAI has with Microsoft or what Amazon is doing with Amazon. I see a lot of similarities. Kid you not. A lot. A ton. If you, if you think so too, like and subscribe. If you don't think so, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. If even if you do comment about it, because I just see I just see it the same way. I see it happening the same exact way. It's, it's just gonna happen the same exact way. But in my opinion, of course, uh, if this does end up happening, then I just know I have this video to back it up for it to prove all y'all wrong. And I said it first. I said it months in advance. Listen, I don't know any of this. I don't know any of them personally. It's a guess. Because history does repeat itself. And I believe that these big companies are going to act the same as the other ones. So that's definitely something that we should look out for. But let's continue and see what else they, they have to say about this new partnership and their investment with them. What's really interesting, and Anthropic have told us this on the program very recently, is that they are getting a lot of success through Bedrock in getting their clawed models out to enterprise, commercial customers. What is Amazon and AWS getting from Anthropic and their activity from a kind of business volume perspective? You know, what is the, 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 the benefit or the sales boost to, to AWS? Yeah, for sure. So, so Bedrock is uh, our capability for making these foundation models available. Um, and we make available models from uh, Anthropic, um, and we also make available models from other providers, including Amazon and other providers like Stability for image generation. Uh, we have uh, publicly available models from Meta and Mistral and AI21 Labs and Cohere and so on and so forth. And so what we found is that customers want to be able to access 
uh, uh, the best performing, most remarkable models in an environment which is private and secure, where their data is not reviewed by humans, does not go into training the underlying models, does not travel over the public internet, and have all the additional capabilities which make you successful with generative AI, such as grounding these models in your own business data so they can answer questions on information that they haven't been trained on yet. And so that's what Bedrock um, enables customers to do. Let's talk about chips, because you know that, that I love to. I think I'm right in saying you were at GTC or, of course, you're aware of what was announced at GTC, which is Blackwell. And mm -hmm. using Tranium and Inferentia. But just give me your, and you are an expert, give me your expert opinion and reaction to Blackwell and what you think you're up against there. Yeah, I mean, uh, Blackwell is a remarkable uh, artificial intelligence platform that combines GPUs and CPUs. Uh, it's uh, likely to be the absolute best, you know, beast at providing uh, machine learning training. And so what's really important, and our approach here maybe differs from others, is that uh, optionality of compute and models really matters with generative AI. And so we make available um, uh, NVIDIA GPUs. We were the first and have got a, we were the first to bring those GPUs to customers through AWS. We've got a very long, deep partnership with, uh, with NVIDIA that goes back nearly 13 years. I've been on stage with Jensen. Jensen joined our conference. Uh, we've worked closely together for, for over a decade now. Uh, and NVIDIA also run their own AI supercomputer on AWS that we're partnering to build together, uh, which will have tens of thousands of uh, Blackwell uh, platforms uh, connected together with very fast interconnects, which is going to deliver over 400 exaflops of compute power so that NVIDIA right. can build their own foundation models, simulate the Earth, and so on and so forth. And so optionality really matters, and we're going to continue to build our own chips. We're going to continue to bring chips from other providers, and we're going to continue to uh, invest and partner with NVIDIA. I think that he's very smart. And the people at... The people at... Amazon are very smart because look at the variety and diversity that they have there. Anthropic is one of the companies that feel safe and secure with using their models at their company and with their services and stuff. Then he, he, he named off Meta and a few other companies that also run their own models and they run their own models there. They, they have a, a diverse portfolio of models through their systems that they're working with whether it's security reasons and things like that and data reasons, whatever it is, they, they're they saying that's what they're going to be able to get. He, he clearly stated what these other companies are able to get from them out of these partnerships. Then, another thing that he was saying, Anthropic uses the Amazon chips or whatever to run their models and things like that to that accord. But he also stated about how having the options available for their customers is such a big thing because Blackwell came out. You know, Blackwell, Jack Jensen was talking about there was $10 billion of R&D to create that chip. I don't know how much time it was, but he said the total R&D was $10 billion to create that. Now, that tells me it's not going to be an inexpensive piece of device for people to use it's not going to be cheap so what do we have we need to have options for different customers hey some customers might need blackwell some might not need them so why ruin our partnership with nvidia to focus on our own chips that we have our chips suit other people's stuff like anthropic and things blackwell's chips from nvidia we have customers that need their products and stuff if they're with meta it's probably meta that's able to afford it and spend the money on that and all all that other kind of stuff. That's the product and having that's what's good about having that variety and options. You have all these different customers, you know what they need, you know what they want, and then you can provide all these list of products over there. Why would you only have one product that you give to a customer that may not need it? Then they're gonna have to go somewhere else because you don't have something that suits all of your customers' needs. Or you don't have something that suits new customers' needs that can potentially looking to come over. These are all these are all things to wonder about, to think about. I'm telling you, they're all things to think and wonder about, because 
That is very smart. And I praise them for that. I actually praise them for that. I really appreciate how they manage that and them giving that options out because that's good business. To me, that seems like good business. It's helping out. But I definitely think and agree that this is kind of like a little partnership thing that we saw from Microsoft and OpenAI. So I'm really curious about how it's going to change. And one of the things I want to do also is learn more about Anthropic to see what they're capable of really doing and what their main full purpose is. Because we, we've only seen a little bit about them. And for them to get this big of an investment, they got something. Like they have Claude. Heard a little bit about Claude. So maybe that's something that we'll dive into a little bit more later. But that's what we got here. 